Hi, my name is Audrey. And I'm Cindy, and we're going to tell you a bit about Life to Bonnie. So Audrey, if we win Manitobaville 2011, what do you think we should do with the prize? Well, there is the arena. What a great idea! Because, like so many small towns, Lac de Bonnie is a hockey town. And during hockey season, the Lac de Bonnie Arena is second home to so many people in our community. The arena offers figure skating, hockey, and free skate programs for all age groups, which brings our small community together. You are so right there. And I totally agree with you. And also, the arena is in need of a new foundation, as well as a female change room. I couldn't agree more. Do you know Lac de Bonnie is one of the most desirable places to live, work, or play in Manitoba? We have endless rivers and lakes, lush forests full of nature, and beautiful granite hills make this the last stop on the prairie. And Lac de Bonnet is located an hour and a half northeast of Winnipeg and offers something for everyone. And it's also a very friendly place. Absolutely. You know, Lac de Bonnie is also a Four Seasons playground. Personally, I love the summer. In the summer, you can try a swim at the beach, a little fishing, a visit to Old Pinawa Dam site, a round of golf at one of the four courses, and of course, take in the best fireworks display Manitoba has to offer. And winter offers no less with endless snowmobiles and cross-country ski trails, ice fishing, hunting, or pay a visit to our curling club, bowling lanes, legion, or pioneer clubs. Don't forget the famous ice fishing derby with over $25,000 in prizes. And of course, the, the Lactabonny Arena! Yo, here we are at Lactabonny Arena. Why don't we go inside and see what's going on? I'm going to have a few words, but also on behalf of the town, I'm going to say a few words that uh, for our ratepayers, so on behalf of the ratepayers in the beautiful town of, on the bank of Winnipeg River, this is a great opportunity for everyone to rally and get involved and help us to do a very good presentation. If we are successful with this contest, which is a large amount of money, it will help the arena where we're sitting out do many projects. I own and my wife and I moved to Lac in 1968 to seek employment and we never left. This is a wonderful place to retire, to raise a family. Uh, we have the beaches, we have that, not that much crime, we have many walkways, we have paths, it's just a nice area. My son and his family live in Calgary and they come out here every year for a month because we have the beaches and the facilities and all the amenities which they need. So with the help of everyone, I know we will be successful with this contest. So when the time comes, please vote for Lock the Body. All right. Excellent, Norm. Excellent. Hi, look who we found now. We found Ken Lodge and John Kahn. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to ask them some questions about the Lactabonny Arena. And what we'd like to ask is uh, about some of the history on the arena and um, what you're going to be doing with it and what we hope to accomplish here at the arena. Well, I know yeah. the arena was a centennial project in 67, as most arenas around Canada were. And um, fortunately, uh, it's starting to show its age. It's 50 years old, and we are trying to refurbish it in many ways. There's lots of areas that need attention, kind of like us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we're beyond repair. Yeah, because yeah, the design is so like yesterday, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, that being said, though, yeah. I mean, we have yeah. a, a wonderful, we consider it a wonderful building. We have a wonderful lobby area here that's second to none exactly. in any rural uh, arena. Uh, a lot of effort went into this for volunteers at various years. Mm -hmm. um, over time, uh, this section here was actually added onto the building. Originally, there was just the ice surface area many mm -hmm. years ago. And uh, with all of the effort that everybody's put in, it's turned into a, a nice building. In most respects, it's a very pleasant place to go, but it's starting to show its age and it needs some work. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of things start to show their age after some years. Yeah. Well. What we're hoping to involve in our, if we're successful in this application, uh, women's hockey seems to have broken up mm -hmm. pretty as a big sport here in Lac de Bonnie. Yeah, we don't have a facility for the women to change her either, and it is a high priority. 
So hopefully we can take some kind of action in that regard in this coming year. Because uh, the girls seem to be uh, having a lot more fun than the guys in some situations. Here. Yeah, they sure seem to be. Because girls rock! Well, they do. When yeah. we watch them play, and a lot of yeah. the girls that start out here in our town, they start out in the boys' league, yeah. actually, and uh, they go on and play at higher levels throughout the province. Uh, our arena, actually, is one of the few arenas regionally that actually ices a full range of uh, different levels of hockey teams. And our kids have been very successful yeah. at the both regional and provincial level, and uh, they need a place to play. And never mind that, we need a place to be entertained. Definitely. That's Lackaboni and our arena. So in ending this story, don't forget to vote for us because your vote counts too.